Hello again, Kanta. Uh, last stream, we spent a while labbing Plunderblade tech, uh, trying different strategies, resetting, uh, making new sets, trying different meme strats. Uh, we messed around with sleep bombing as well, and we were trying to basically come up with a way to farm the entire Fatalis set without actually having to kill the monster. And so you can see, I've made the entire Fatalis set. None of those Fatalis parts are cheated. The uh, Obviously, like the larger of Dragon Gems and stuff are, but you can just grab Celestial Prince for those. Uh, yeah, you can see we've made the entire beta set. We could have made the entire alpha set if we wanted. This was all get all the materials for this were gained over the course of one stream. I think it was something like four hours, but a lot of that time was spent sort of uh, labbing new techs and resetting and abandoning and trying different runs and messing up because we didn't know the strategies. We were working them out as we went along. Uh, and so it could definitely be taken down in time. And just to clarify, uh, even though we've made the entire Fatalis set, as you can see, we still have the special assignment to do. And if I try to do the event quest uh, on this, say, Fate to Black, you cannot post until you've done the uh, completed the Vitalis investigation. So this is a save file where we haven't been able to beat the uh, the special assignment yet, and yet we've made the entire Vitalis set. You don't need to beat Vitalis to be able to make its armor set, uh, but you do need to have like most of its parts unlocked. So for example, like I think you need a Cortex at the very least. They might even you might even need a Horn. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so yeah, if you can't see the Vitalis set, it's likely that you're missing a, a couple of its drops. And so yeah, today we're going to be showing you how exactly to do this yourself, just for anybody who's struggling with the Vitalis fight. It'll be slower than actually killing Vitalis yourself if you know how to do it, but I've spoken to a lot of people who have spent 10, 20, 30 hours trying to beat Vitalis with no such luck, and so this, this sort of method might be helpful for you if you're struggling. Once you have the Vitalis set, the Vitalis fight is much easier because your DPS just instantly shoots up. Uh, but yeah, so we've got to look at the drops themselves. Cortexes, Shards, uh, Pectus, these Pecti, and even the Evil Eyes can all drop from Plunder Blades. Uh, the other drops that you need at the bottom, the Large Elder Dragon Gems, Immortal Reactors, those ones, you can all get them from uh, from melding at the NPC using Celestial Reverian Prints. And so what we're missing are the Fell Wings and the Hard Horns. That's all we're really missing. And so that's what our, set, uh, that's what our sort of strategies are, are aimed to get. Now, if you'll notice, uh, you need Hard Horns and Evil Eyes to make the head, the chest, and the arms. However, if you just have Fell Wings and the regular drops, Cortex of Shards and Pectuses, you can make the waist and the legs. And if you aren't aware, Two Piece Fatalis gives you uh, Inheritance, the set bonus which removes the level cap for all uh, skills that are blocked. We've talked about this in a separate video. It's an incredibly powerful skill. And so by make, by all you need to do is farm the wings in order to get these two pieces. And so that's what we're gonna do with start basically. Uh, the horns are a little bit more complicated. We'll talk about that in a second. And the eyes are incredibly rare from the Plunder Blade. So it's gonna take you a while to get those, but the wings are actually really easy to get. And so step one is to first get some wings. We can then move on to getting the horns afterwards. And so this is the first step. We're going to be farming wings first and then afterwards we're going to cheese some horns. Yeah, for the wings, what we do is we take any set that can easily do a little bit of damage to the wings. If for whatever reason you're good at doing that with Greatsword, take Greatsword. If you're like doing that with Spread HBG, go for it. For me, I'm using Sticky LBG. Don't worry if you can't make the set. This is using a Safi Aqua Shot with an Awoken Zora Magdaros Essence in it. It's a very typical uh, Sticky LBG set that has some DPS swapped out for Part Breaker. Uh, don't worry if you can't make this exact set, you don't need two true special at all in order to, because uh, we're barely shooting any stickies, we're nowhere near reaching the ammo limit. I'm only using this because this is just the standard sticky set that I had lying around. Uh, yeah, it's just DPS skills. However, what is important is the use of the ghillie mantle and the use of the two points of heavy artillery. If you aren't aware, heavy artillery gives you 100% plus firepower to uh, things like ballista and cannons, and I'm sure you can see why that's going to be useful. So we are doing the wing break runs now. These are going to be using the sticky LBG set we talked about, but don't forget, even though my commentary is kind of geared towards breaking the wings, you obviously need to be using your Palicob, Plunder Blade and Palarangs as frequently as possible to get the Cortexes, the Pectuses, the Shards, uh, and also the Evil Eyes, because they're quite a rare drop. Now regarding the Evil Eyes, also don't forget to Gilly Mantle before you enter the area for the opener. I'll talk about the opener in just a second. For the Evil Eyes, I was considering doing like a two, part, uh, a two head break run, uh, like you can do ZSD spam with switch hacks or you can use great swords or, or whatever. But the thing is, if you need this kind of cheese strategy, if you're the sort of person who's looking for an easy way to make the Fatalis set without having to kill it, you, it's probably unfair of me to just tell you to basically break Fatalis' horn twice. Because by the time you've done that, Fatalis is almost dead anyway. It has so much health, health, uh, health on that horn. So it didn't seem fair for me to just ask you to, to break the horn twice. And so that's why we're going to rely on the plunder bait for it. But obviously, if you're good with switch hacks or you're good with great sword or whatever, feel free once we do the horn run, which is coming after this, uh, you can, instead of abandoning or returning afterwards, you can just uh, go on and, and finish the fight or break the horn twice. Anyway, load up the cannons for the opener. This is why we have heavy artillery. Don't forget, it has to be on the set, not on the ghillie mantle, because your ghillie mantle expires as soon as you shoot it. Push that cannon uh, three times to the right, the one on the left, uh, push it three times to the right, then push this cannon once to the right, shoot the first cannon, that'll aggro the Fatalis, and then you shoot the second cannon when it comes close. Um... But uh, yeah, so that's the reason I'm not doing uh, two part breaks. Obviously, again, you are welcome to do that yourself. 
For the Evil Eye, we're going to be relying on the... Uh, hopefully, we're going to have gotten one. Basically, it's a 1% chance per Palico drop. You get four Palico drops per run. Uh, and so, it's essentially like a four... It's, it doesn't... The mass is actually 3.9%. But it's basically a 4% chance per run. I don't know why I'm shooting the head, by the way. I spaced out a little bit here because I was talking to Chad and stuff. But uh, yeah, you just want to basically pepper the wings now with stickies until they go once you flint shot it. Flint shot is a good source of damage for parts. It's definitely worth doing. And you should also not forget to grab the uh, the shinies that drop too. Yeah, feel free to like put on temporal mantle or whatever just to make keep yourself safe. Uh, and by the time that that's run out, you'll definitely have uh, broken the wings. Uh, as I said, use whatever weapon you like to do damage to the wings. It doesn't take much damage. Uh, it does depend a little bit on like cannonball RNG and stuff, but it shouldn't take too many shots. You can see how quickly we break the wings when we do this. Uh, the left wing or the right wing or whatever takes a little bit more for us because I guess we got a little bit unlucky with the cannonball RNG. It was like more emphasized on the left, whatever. If you have trouble getting the part breaks, then you are welcome to dunk like six or I think it's like nine sleep two ammo because Aquashot can fire sleep two ammo into this. Uh, to put it to sleep and then do another flint shot when it wakes which will give you even more part damage to the wings and by that point it should only take a couple more shots and, and the wing should break completely this should not take you anything more than like uh, five minutes or so uh, yeah it's fairly easy so you want to break both wings now i forget to use my palico plunder blade and palarang and stuff and that's because i'm like talking to chat and spacing out but obviously you should be doing that but you see how quickly we bro broke both wings so that's two dire wings right there really easily attained uh, now i'm using my palarang and my uh, you can see i have them on the radial menu uh, so I'm using them and then I fire cast back to camp. Now I'm just showing something off here. Because we've just used them, obviously our uh, Palico equipment timer is at max. However, you can actually circumvent that. You can instantly restart it by going into the change Palico equipment uh, icon, changing to a different equipment. So we're going to go to the Coral Horn and then back to Plunder Blade. And what that does is it has the effect of uh, instantly restarting the Palico timer. And so now we can go back into the area and uh, and use the, pal the Plunder Blade and the Palarang again. And we can repeat that as many times as we like. Personally, I'm not going to spam them too much because over the course of doing all of these wing runs and horn runs, I found that I was I would I was already getting the evil eyes that I needed. But uh, yeah, you are welcome to um, you're welcome to do this as much as you need to. Do, do, don't forget though, there is like a four item plunder blade limit on the cat. So once you've used four plunder blades, you're basically uh, at your limit, and so at that point, you should definitely return from quest. Also, don't forget, don't abandon. Make sure you return from the quest. Um, that's quite important. So yeah, we are just checking the hall. From the shiny drops, we got a couple of shards and some cortexes. Didn't get any pectuses from that. You can get pectuses, uh, I guarantee it. I'll show you in a different run, but it, even from... Uh, oh, and we'll check the rest of the loot too. Obviously, we got the two wing breaks, so we expect to get two fell wings. And we hopefully got a couple of... Uh, I didn't do too many plunder blades here. I just did a, did the couple. So we're not going to have the maximum of four plunder blade rewards, but you can see the two fell wings are there. And then we got two drops, a shard and a cortex. Not, not, not too great. Not too bad, no Evil Eye, no Pectus, but we'll get those over the course of the coming runs. And so the idea is you repeat this until you've gotten enough parts to make those first two pieces. The legs and the waist of Fatalis. And so this is now the set that we're using for the horn runs. Uh, I'm, so you can see I'm using the Fatalis legs and waist now that we've made them. If you don't have them, it's not a huge deal. This set isn't optimized. I'm using the Aqua Shot. This is a sleep bombing set, by the way. So I'll show you the skills. You can see in the weapon, for example, I have Nagakuga Essence, even though I'm not running uh, True Spare Shot. And that's because this is not an optimized set. I just, we, we, we custom made this on the fly on stream just to see if it worked, and it worked. You can optimize this as much as you like. Be it told, this is LBG is much more efficient for sleep ammo. Also, like a HPG would do a much better job, but I'm lazy, so I'm using Aqua Shot. If you're making a set for this, uh, and you don't want to roll for Safi, seriously, don't worry about it. Um, you really don't need to. Just take a Beard Holders LBG and build a set for it. I'm using two Artian for the crit element and two Barbs for the, uh, obviously, the Awoken Bombardier. Uh, but none of those skills are super, super important. It's not a huge deal. And so this is the set that I threw together to get uh, the skills I needed. The skills I needed, by the way, uh, three points of Part Breaker is obviously really nice. Free Element is nice. Max Sleep Attack. Bombardier is really handy. I have Critical Eye because I wanted the... Uh, because I wanted the crit status to proc more. But uh, yeah, and one point of single capacity is also really nice for for because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of flint shotting. Uh, aside from that, the razor sharp charm just helps the sleep ammo go a little bit further. Additionally, to make this run a little bit more consistent and a little bit faster, I actually start off using a great sword set because we're going to be using the same opening where we use all of the uh, b the ammo. So you can see I've got heavy artillery on the set. Uh, I use a great sword just because the knockdown you can get like two level threes off. That's literally the only reason I do it. You'll see what I'm talking about when we go into the run. It's just an extra like 2000 damage to the horns. It makes them break a little bit more consistently. It's really not a huge deal. You're welcome to just change to stickies once you've done the sleep bombing strats or do extra sleep bombs, whatever. You'll see when we talk about the run in, in a second. But uh, yeah, just to clarify, this these are the two sets we're using. The sleep bombing set and the uh, and the greatsword set. 
It's just a standard Frostcraft Great Sword. Use whatever you like. Any DPS is fine. Whatever weapon you like to do for the opener is really not a huge deal. But anyway, the point here is that we're going to be doing horn breaking runs now. You've made enough parts to get the two, uh, the two barbs pieces, the legs and the waist. And so now what we need are horns and we need uh, evil eyes. And so that's what we're going for next. And so for this horn breaking run, same deal as before. You can see I've got my Frostcraft Great Sword out, but again, use whatever DPS weapon you like. I'm going to buff up Gilly Mantle, go into the thing and then do my opening. So I'll rejoin you when, when we're done there. Please don't forget to use your Palarang and your Plunder Blade. I keep forgetting to do it because I've been spacing out and chat and that means that I get less shiny drops. I'm a little bit too focused on the horn. It's not as important with the horn runs because they tend to last more like 10 minutes. And so usually your Palico has already reached his four drops by the end anyway. But yeah, you can see because we've got the guaranteed knockdown, I'm just using my Part Breaker Greatsword Frostcraft test set to get as much damage as possible. And we're also going to do like a flinch shot. It's, it's just the same thing we did last time, but I'm getting some extra damage uh, right at the start on the horns using Greatsword. You are welcome to use whatever set you like. Use a, use a ZSD if that's your preferred, use a, I don't know, Charge Blade, whatever, just, just anything to get a little bit more DPS on the horns at the start of the quest because it's a bit more consistent. But anyway, we'll join back in a second. And so we are back and I far, I far casted change to my sleep bombing set and I just put the Fatalis to sleep. I'm trying to skip forwards to make this video not too long. Uh, so what you do is you take your sleep bombing set, you obviously spam, this is the one that I showed you earlier with the Bombardier and stuff. Uh, do your six shots of sleep ammo to get that first sleep. Put out your bombs, put out your, uh, your, your mines if you want to. Use a rock to make sure you blow up the bombs first. Uh, flint shot on and then uh, get another flint shot. Sorry, claw on and get another flint shot. Because uh, as when Fatalis wakes up, it's not in rage mode straight away properly. Uh, and then just put it back to sleep again. Uh, so usually after two of these uh, sleeps, if you've got a decent amount of damage uh, in using the opener. Like so for example with Greatsword, it takes me two sleeps before it... Uh, before Fatalis uh, like flies away, it'll do its Nova. I guess we'll just skip forwards a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we are just about to get the sleep proc. Uh, it takes quite a few sleep bullets to get the second proc. Uh, so you might have to go back to camp and restock if you get unlucky with, uh, with the true true special, although uh, with the special procs, but uh, I, I didn't find that issue. Uh, make sure you've brought the combines for bombs, by the way. This is a sleep bombing set, so obviously you're gonna wanna bring the combines for more bombs and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we got the second sleep. We're gonna do the same thing we did last time, and then we're going to a flint shot it one more time. This is going to do a decent amount of damage to the head. You can tenderize the head for extra part damage here, but I was too lazy. Um, feel free to do that yourself if you like. Actually, uh, we, for some reason, I remember on this run, it, it, it didn't behave properly. It flew away early. So, but but no, in, in normal cases there, it would you would do a flint shot, and then when it would get up, it would fly away and do the Nova. But for some reason, it did the Nova a little bit early here. Maybe we, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure why that happened. But anyway, this is very typical for the run. You do your two sleeps, your two flint shots, your two bomb wake ups. Uh, and then it will Nova. You obviously hide. Go to the, uh, the the little ballista cannon thing. Don't forget to grab all of your shinies that you've been dropping. Again, I want to make it very clear. I keep forgetting to use the Palarang and the Plunder Blade, but you should be using them the whole time. Uh, yeah. I like to save my Temporal Mantles so that it lasts while I'm on the, uh, the cannon. Now, the better your cannon shots on the head, uh, the better you'll do. The cannon does a lot of damage with heavy artillery. It's a really nice way to get the horn break. Uh, if you miss a lot of cannon bullets, you will be forced to do that damage to the head yourself. Uh, in which case, I would like swap to a sticky LBG set or whatever you like hitting the head with, maybe great sword. It's really up to you. But you can see, horn break really easily. Not a huge deal at all. I think I regretted not using Palarang and stuff, so I'm going to use the Palarang again. Um, actually, I think right now I was swearing for some reason at the monster because I was really frustrated. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So I'm just using my cat equipment and we're having a look at the haul. You can see I haven't picked up many shinies. I've been a little bit lazy about it, but we've got Pectuses and Shards. Uh, and so we're going to return from quest and see see what we got. It took us somewhere in the region of 8 minutes. It usually takes between 8 and 10 minutes fairly consistently. It's not that bad for the horn break. Um, the fact that you're going to be getting the side items is, is just a happy coincidence. And you see we didn't break the wings this run. You are welcome to do both at the same if you want. But I prefer to focus on the horn and the wing separately. And as you can see we got a nice range of rewards here. Uh, a, a couple shards and an evil eye. So they can definitely drop from the palico. It's a fairly rare drop. It's like a 1% chance. Uh, as I've mentioned before, you're going to get four Palico drops per run. Uh, that's basically 4% chance per run of getting. That's not exactly how the math works. Right? It's 3.9%, but whatever. 4% per run. And so you expect to do something somewhere in the region of like 25 runs. Um, obviously, the horn runs take 8 to 10 minutes, but regular runs don't take that long for this. If you've gotten all of your horns... Uh, well, anyway, I'll come back in just a second. Okay, so TLDR, we need one, two, three hard horns to make... Uh, all of the parts of Fatalis and we need four fell wings to make them all too. So what I would do is I would do the initial run where you make a generic sticky LBG set 
uh, break the wings like I showed you. That should take you like five five minutes each. You do that two or three times until you've gotten all the fellow wings you need. Uh, and you keep going and that'll get you the cortexes, the pectuses and the shards too. You then make the waist and the legs and that'll allow you to make better sets for the horn break, which is phase two. So you've done phase one, you've made the waist and the legs using wind break runs. Now you make a more powerful set for phase two, which is horn break runs. You want to farm at least three hard horns, maybe more if you want the weapons. That'll take you around 10 minutes per run using the method I showed you, sleep bombing. Uh, obviously, this whole time you've been getting palico parts and hopefully you've gotten an evil eye by now. Uh, but anyway, so you keep farming them and you get all the hard horns you need. Now, the thing is you can't make four piece fatalis until you've gotten evil eyes. So let's say you've reached this point and you haven't gotten evil eyes. Then you move on to phase three. Phase three is a lot simpler. You use the plunder blade and the palerang and the uh, far casting reset trick to spam them as much as possible. And you also don't forget to flint shot uh, fatalis for the extra shiny drops. And also you can put it to sleep to get extra flint shots off. Uh, between those strats, you don't need to worry about doing the long ass opener or anything silly like that. Uh, you can just bring a sleep set to get as many sleeps as you like for as many flint shots as you like. You don't need to worry about bombing. You don't need to worry about stickying. All you're really interested in is getting as many shinies as many, and as many uh, plunder blade drops as possible. Because for phase three, we've gotten all of the wings we need and we've gotten all of the horns we need. We're only interested in evil eyes. Uh, you could obviously get more wings and horns for like uh, weapons, but we're not worrying about that for now. In, in my opinion, it's better to make the full set first and then worrying about farming for weapons afterwards because of, of how powerful full fatalis is. But anyway, anyway. So we just want evil eyes and maybe like cortexes and shit. So we're going to just use sleeps, plunder blades, palerangs and resetting using the trick I showed you to get as many of those as possible. It takes about three minutes per run. You get four shinies and you get four plunder blade drops. The four plunder blade drops have in total a 4% chance of giving you an evil eye. So that means it's going to take you somewhere in the region of like uh, 25 runs at three minutes a run. It's like an hour and 15 minutes. So like somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half per, per evil eye, which is really not that bad. You only need a couple. You only need one evil eye if you want to make uh, four piece fatalis. You need uh, three evil eyes if you want to make all five pieces. Once you have four piece fatalis, you go to town. You're basically sorted. Um, yeah, and so then that's a really easy way to finish up the evil eyes that you need. As I said, we labbed these strats. We didn't even do them optimally for uh, about four hours and we had enough to make the full set easily. The vote of that is still on Twitch, by the way, if you're curious, you feel free to look it up. I think I might upload the, uh, the runs themselves like to YouTube for patrons or something. But anyway, I'll worry about that some other time. But uh, yeah, so I think that basically covers everything. I hope I've done it fairly comprehensively. I hope I've clarified all of the steps that it takes to farm all of the parts. Between this method, we've managed to get the shards, the cortexes, the pectuses, the fell wings, the horns, and even the evil eyes fairly efficiently. Um, yeah, I think that's basically all there really is to it. All right, so just a few disclaimers. Also, my throat is shut because this video recording took ages. So uh, forgive me if I sound a bit weird. But uh, yeah, every time I do a video like this, there's always a smart ass who's like, oh, well, why don't you just beat Fatalis manually? It's much quicker than that. Like, yeah, listen, obviously it's faster to just beat the hunt. But I think if somebody's looking for plunder blade cheese, they're probably struggling on the hunt, you know? So yeah, listen, if you can beat the hunt in 20 minutes, congratulations. Here's a cookie. Uh, go do that instead. Um, this run is meant for the people who are struggling with the hunt, who want to make the armor set to make the hunt a bit easier. This is for everybody who's struggling to beat the Fatalis fight, but who wants to make the armor set. This is this is for you. For everybody else, just go and kill Fatalis. It's fine. It's not that hard. Um, you'll be okay. Believe me. The fact that this video exists is not going to hurt you in any way. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 I always get stupid ass comments that are, that complain about me doing videos like this. But yeah, for everybody else, for everybody who for whom the plunder blade and the uh, and the sleep bombing strats worked, I hope this has been useful. I hope that you managed to make the uh, full set of Fatalis and use it to dominate the fight. Uh, it definitely does make the fight a lot easier. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if I've missed anything. If there's any questions you have, uh, feel free to uh, post them below. You might want to follow me on Twitch, by the way. I recorded this whole thing live on Twitch and we labbed it, everything. Uh, we went through all of the flaws and all of the issues we were having and you could sort of see the, the runs developing as we were making them. So it was quite a fun stream. You should uh, maybe follow me on there if you, if you want to see this kind of thing in the future. But otherwise, yeah, just uh, comment if you have any questions and I hope you have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.